Hi, this story is called Geraldine's Big Snow, and the author is Holly Keller. At the back of this book, it says Geraldine is waiting and waiting for the first big snow. Geraldine's Big Snow. Geraldine brought her new sled down from the attic and put her boots near the door. I'm ready, she said. It will be come faster if you don't watch so much, Mama told her, but Geraldine wanted to watch. Tell me again what Papa heard on the radio, she said. This is the last time, Geraldine, Mama scolded. He heard that there is going to be a big storm coming and there will be at least a foot of snow. How much is a foot, Geraldine asked. Mama held out her hand. Wow, a foot is probably even taller than this book. Wow, said Geraldine, sucking in her cheeks. But when? Soon, said Mama, very soon. Geraldine put on her hat and her jacket. I'm going outside to wait. Good, said Mama. Hello, Geraldine, said Mrs. Wilson who was coming home from the market. You bought a lot of apples, Geraldine said. Mrs. Wilson nodded. I it will be hard to go shopping when the snow comes. Geraldine walked along with her eyes up into the sky until she bumped into Mr. Peters, who was coming home from the library. Afternoon, Geraldine, Mr. Peters grumbled, and he picked up his books. I'm sorry, Geraldine said. I was just watching for the snow. Mr. Peters cleared his throat. <clears throat> Better get plenty of good books to read. Geraldine stopped to watch Mr. Harper put seeds in his bird feeder. Birds get hungry in the snow, he said. Uncle Albert was attaching the snowplow to his truck. He waved to Geraldine and Geraldine waved back. Geraldine started to sing. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. She sang all the way home and watched the sky. She is very excited. But by supper time, there was still no snow and Geraldine was weary from watching. Weary means that she was kind of tired from watching. Maybe it isn't really coming, she said. Maybe the man on the radio is wrong. Maybe Mrs. Wilson and Mr. Peters and Mr. Harper and Uncle Albert are all wrong. Geraldine took a last look out the window. A star was hiding behind a cloud and she watched it until she fell asleep. Then in the night it came, softly and gently, Millions of snowflakes piled up on houses and trees. They made soft mounds on the streets and in the park and beautiful crystals on the windows. Geraldine heard Uncle Albert's snowplow before she even opened her eyes. It's here, she shouted, it's here. Mrs. Wilson got right to work making apple pies. Mr. Peters sat in front of the fireplace reading. Mr. Harper counted 11 finches and three cardinals at his bird feeder. Ooh, the cardinals are the red ones. One, two, three. And the finches, he said there were 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. And Geraldine took her sled to the top of the highest hill in the park and coasted all the way down. She finally got to go sledding. <laughs>